Hello Huachong students, okay, this is the next video I'm making in the year 2013. I'm trying to explain the Keynesian view of the economy and what John Maynard Keynes is trying to do when he's proposing his uh, model for employment. Okay, so you must recall that John Maynard Keynes lived in the years of the Great Depression and during the Great Depression there was massive unemployment. So the objective of John Maynard Keynes is to basically understand how can any economy be stuck in a, a world in a state of permanent unemployment and what can the government do to uh, restore full employment. So let's be clear about his uh, circular flow. Okay, in the circular flow of the economy, what you have learned, right? Let me write down. <laughs> Now, the main conclusion that you are supposed to get from the circular flow of income is what are injections? Injections, as you have seen, right, is basically investment, government expenditure, and exports. Okay, what are withdrawals or leakages? They are basically savings, taxation, and imports. Now, he, John Maynard Keynes want to show one thing. How can the economy be in an equilibrium where it's below the level of full employment? Okay, in the past, right, the classical economists like Adam Smith, uh, David Ricardo, John Stuart Mill, we always believe they always believe okay that 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 the economy will always reach an equilibrium where everyone who wants a job will find a job, will be able to work. Okay, if you recall what we learned in microecons about the labor market. Okay, so let me draw a quick labor market quantity of labor and as well as the wage rate. Okay, you have the supply of labor as well as the demand for labor. Okay, this is the quantity of labor. Okay, this is the quantity of labor hired when everyone who wants a job, okay, who wants who are willing to work at W not will get a job. The only way there can be unemployment is when the wages are above. Okay, ends up being above the market clearing wage W0. So the whole idea is that if the wages is at W1, for example, there will be some unemployment. That's what you have learned, right? It's here. Okay, but the point is that so long as wages is allowed to decline, okay, if we if we just can fall, okay, eventually you will get back into L0. So in a sense, uh, the economy is always in an equilibrium where everyone who wants to work can get a job at the going wage rate W0. So there's no way you, the economy can be stuck in a permanent uh, unemployment. Okay, if it was stuck in permanent unemployment, classical economists would say that okay, something is stopping the wage from falling, which you have learned in your microecons, probably may perhaps due to the minimum wage. Okay, but if the government doesn't interfere in the labor market, there's no way there can be uh, unemployment in the long run. Now, what Keynes' view is this? Okay, you don't have to know this for the H2 syllabus. They won't ask you directly. But it will be useful to know that Keynes, in a sense, he uh, viewed the world where the wages are particularly sticky. means that there's no way wages can fall. Okay, there's something that stopped the wages from falling. There's uh, over and above beyond uh minimum wage. Okay, so we shall not go into this in detail because because it is not important that issue to syllabus. So just remember his view of the world is sticky wages. Okay, but what you probably need to understand is that the question okay can the economy be at equilibrium without being at full employment? So paraphrasing this I'm trying to ask Okay. Can the equilibrium level of national income be lower than the income that would guarantee full employment? To understand this better, right, the classic analogy that many econs teachers like to use, including me, is the concept of a water tank. Okay, so let me draw a water tank here. Okay, so there's a in this water tank, right, there's a hole below at the bottom of this water tank where water leaks up. And there's a pouring of water in the water tank. Okay, so let me just draw a current 
level of water. Let me call this uh, L0 to say that this is the current level of water. Okay. I want to pose a question. At, how do you ensure that this water level L0 uh, is, at, is in equilibrium? means there's no change in the water level. Okay, so take note that there's a hole where water flows out and also water is being poured in. Okay, so my question again is, how can L0 uh, be unchanging? How can L0 be the equilibrium level of water? Okay, I hope you can tell from your basic signs, right, that so long as the inflow, okay, the volume of water going in exactly matches the outflow. Okay, inflow ma matches outflow, the water level will remain at L0. Okay, so in your circular flow, right, this is exactly the same as saying that so long as injection is equal to draw. So imagine, right, if this is the circular flow of income, this is your IGX, which represents the inflow. This is your STM. What Keith is trying to say is that the economy will be in equilibrium. The national income will be the equilibrium level of national income so long as the injections is exactly matches the withdrawal. Okay, if the withdrawal is greater than the injection, the water level will fall. If the injection is greater than the withdrawal, the water level will rise. From this simple diagram of a water tank, right, you can see that there is no contradiction between saying that you are in equilibrium, but the tank need not be full. Because when the tank is full, right, the water level is somewhere at a brim. Let me call it L. Okay, from this picture, right, I hope you can understand that it is very possible. Okay, there's no contradiction contradiction is saying that the water level is in equilibrium, which is L0, this is equilibrium, but it need not be full. Okay, so the economy can be like stuck in L0, okay, an equilibrium that is below the full water level in the tank. So his policy, if the government wants to increase, okay, wants to increase from L0 to L full, okay, the free market will not guarantee that. Okay, the only way the government can guarantee that the water level will start to rise is to increase the inflow. Okay, so in our econ's term will be to increase the injection. So what you have learned in your lecture is that one way to increase the inflow is to increase government expenditure. So this is known as an expansionary fiscal policy. So, if the government were to increase government expenditure, so in the short run, right, there will be a greater inflow than outflow, hence the water level will start to rise. So, once it becomes full, okay, the government can stop pumping in, increase government expenditure, and therefore everyone who gets a job, and everyone who wants to work is now able to work. Okay, so, if not, uh, the economy will be stuck at L0, which is an equilibrium, but there will be some people who want to work, but cannot find a job. Okay, so this is how you can understand what the circular flow of uh, income is trying to tell you and this is how Keynes view the economy. Okay, I hope this is clear. Thank you.